in here. Oh my gosh. Well, it's official. It's May Sember, the first day of May Sember. Yep, 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 yep. It's not going to be good. I'm old. I'm tired. For some reason, I have agreed to work more than usual. I just got back from Minnesota. I bet most of you all don't even know where Minnesota is. Boy, it's really a nice state. It's cold, but it's nice. It snowed. No, it didn't snow, but it looked like it snowed. So people were worried about where my coon skin cap was. It's an actual coon skin tail, too. I got this at the... Hit the gas station in Virginia. Go on up to Virginia and get yourself a coonskin cap at the gas station. My husband bought it for me for my birthday. Um, it was... Do you hear the dog? It was in a bag. When you have a... The dog and the drinking water. The internet is out. So Amos was crying. It's like, it's a blackout. So I'm back from Minnesota. Uh, May Simber. So I love to talk about May Simber. But I think the Holder and his family's actually invented May Simber. Because I think they were talking about it in 2016. I promise I didn't copy them, though. But I do think I did invent it in my own head. Maycember is the combination of the last month of school plus December. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called Maycember. You needed time to recover. So I got in last night. I stayed at my parents' house in Rocky Mount. I got there about 1230-ish mm, or something. And then uh, I slept today till 11 there. Well, I kept waking up and then setting my alarm and going back to sleep. And then I came home and I had a Special Olympics meeting because we have a big Special Olympics is on Thursday, which is super exciting um, for us and for most of y'all that don't know what Special Olympics is, I will tell you it is available um, for, you have to be eight years old to be in Special Olympics. And in North Carolina, you can go to school through age 22. So what happens, I just learned this today, like Amos might graduate with his class. I guess it depends if he actually graduates or just gets kind of a completion certificate. And, um, and then he would go back to school through age of 22. Why is it December? Uh, did you know that December is real busy? In my neck of the woods, is busy. Yeah, that's why it's December. Because May is full of field trips, Special Olympics, me going out of my way to travel and speak, which is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And then what else happens in May? Um, exams, testing, uh, field trips. Did I already say field trips? Um, more field trips. You went to the Mall of America. I did not go to the Mall of America, but next time I'm going to stay there. My necklace. So my necklace is representing December because it's a Christmas light necklace. And they sell these at Byram's Hardware. 
usually at Christmas time. And then I got the sweatshirt this weekend in Minnesota. And it says, raise them kind. Little Rebels with a Cause. Who is a really neat blog and she just makes awesome stuff. So I, um, I bought this this weekend, raise them kind. Just so you know, I'm trying to. Look, everybody's like, I know, I'm, we're going to have a subscriber video. We'll do it right after this so we can all have a chit-chat and talk all about the weekend. So this weekend, I was at the More Than Caregiver Retreat. The More Than Caregiver Retreat um, was put on by Amanda DeLuca and Kate Swenson. And it's called The More Than Caregiver Retreat on Facebook. And they had almost 300 moms caregivers and they were incredible and lots of lots of them have their own blogs so that was super fun and it just was great I got it was not restful because I had too much fun um we danced and we had some drinks and we ate some tacos and we just had a really good time I met some new friends, which was fun. And yes, my subscribers, I had my speech online. That was fun. It was incredible. It was really great. Yes. If you want to order the sweatshirt, you can order it from Little Rebels with a Cause. I think that's what it's called. Little Rebels with a Cause. Her website and her blog, her Facebook page are different. Um, am I So tonight I got, now I feel like I look like, like a Bolshevik or something with this hat on. Tonight I got, um, I had, we had the Special Olympic meeting. And then I was like, I'm going to go by and get some gift cards. We're going to do a raffle for Special Olympics. So one thing we're really trying to do is have our stands filled up with people. So if you live anywhere near me, Eastern North Carolina, you're not terribly busy on Thursday. Come from 9 to 12 and come to Johnny Holmes High School and be in the stands and clap and cheer for our athletes because it's going to be pretty awesome. And so tonight, one thing we're doing is a raffle. So basically, every restaurant in Edenton, you'll, we're going to raffle off gift certificates to those. So tonight, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and go to these two restaurants before I go home. I was a little early. And I went to the Herringbone, which is this yummy restaurant. Went to Waterman's, got something there, and then went to Herringbone. And I walk in there. <laughs> Have you ever like, I don't even know how to say it. It was almost like I was walking into my own surprise party. I walk into this restaurant thinking there's going to be four people in there, right? It is packed to the gills. And then my next thought was like, somebody's at a And I wouldn't know it. Well, there's like a band in there. And there's all this fun stuff happening in town. And then I'm like, oh my God, I don't even know what's happening in the world. I'm just living in some alternate, alternative universe. Maybe I'm on the internet too much. Or maybe I'm in Minnesota too much. Or what am I doing? You look like Daniel Boone. Well, good. That's That's what I was going for. Me and Daniel Boone. Um, yes, it's Teacher Appreciation Week, or maybe it was last week, or it's next week. It's somewhere in there. Again, struggle. It is hard to do that much peopling. Like when I went in there to that restaurant tonight, I did talk to my OBGYN, and I was like, I, I waved. some. I mean, and I had some good friends in there. I couldn't even talk. I just like got the hell out of there. I was like, oh, my God, there's too many people, and I cannot talk to them. A turd. Turd. Not to be confused with turd, but turd. I met you at Herringbone when I visited Edmonton. Oh, that's right, Sue. I did meet you at, at the Herringbone. Um, so Thursday morning, come and support next week as Teacher Appreciation Week. Well, that explains it because 
we are a little bit confused because we are doing our teacher appreciation lunch on Thursday. Now, Joyce says it's tomorrow. I love it, actually. No one has any idea about anything. Tomorrow is teacher day, but appreciation week is next week. What? Oh my God. It's like the North Carolina General Assembly is making up this stuff. No, it wasn't a party. It was just a restaurant having a band. <laughs> there was no party. No. Nobody invited me because there was no party. Darn it. We do appreciate our teachers. I appreciate all my teachers. Even though this past week I was asking teachers how much they made and I was so proud that they were telling me. And then I was so horrified that we're not paying them enough. I went and bought them some presents. Yeah. Heck yeah, I did. Buy your teacher a present or give them like $100 or $50, maybe $1,000, a lot. Did Amos miss you? Yes, Amos misses me a lot when I'm gone. Um, and then I... He makes me suffer. It's sort of important that he torture me. So tonight, the internet went out. So that began my torture. Mm -hmm. When you belong to somebody with autism and they really like the internet, it's a problem. And we stayed outside for a long time. Oh, I was exhausted. What happened to the trampoline? So yesterday, my daughter texts me and she says, she's 13, where is the trampoline. I said, I don't know. She said, did you give it to the yard people? This is all abbreviations too. You know, last week she texted me and told me to, to please not use abbreviations. And I said, no, I didn't give it to him. And then she texted back, never mind. It's on the neighbor's porch. And I was like, okay, we have three neighbors. Well, basically, we have two neighbors. Please don't buy teacher-themed mugs. No, teachers do not want mugs. They hate you if you give them a mug, unless it's filled with a very good drink. Burton has no internet. Well, maybe that's what the hell's wrong with the internet. And it's not on this neighbor's. So our trampoline was right out here on the water. And... It ended up, it went over our fence, rolled through the yard, and ended up on this neighbor's, I'm going to show you, let me let the dog out. Honor, I know you do not have to pee because you just went out. You're just bored. So the trampoline was, it was, hold on, let's see if you can see anything. It was right, <laughs> basically, just look into this big black spot. Right here. See this black area that you can't see? That's where the trampoline was. Those lights are at the dock. Now there's another dock over there. The trampoline goes from there. It comes around my house, the side of the house. Oh. It comes around the house. It goes out here. Okay, now just look at this. Oh my God. Now the dog is barking at me going outside. It comes around this yard and it ends up, do you see that house over there? Do you see it right there? It ends up on top of their crepe myrtle tree, like wedged on the porch. It's a true story. And my daughter and son daughter and son. My daughter and husband called me and she said, dad wants to know what we should do with the trampoline. Honor, quiet. How would I, what, what do I know? Do I know anything about what to do? Come in this house right now. Come on. What to do with, my husband said it was like 60 mile an hour winds. <laughs> Shut, shush, hush. You, I can't have that. No, you've had dinner. You've peed. 
You've gone on a walk. No. No, I'm, no. I'm not doing it. What should we do with the trampoline? Oh, I don't know. I said, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't know. And I just hung up. So evidently, they found someone to come. They got the trampoline unraveled from the neighbor's porch. And you know who the neighbor is? Get this. This is great. The Catholic priest who we've never seen outside. Never. The Catholic priest, <laughs> which was good, I guess. We didn't have to worry about the Catholic priest coming to get us because we've only seen the Catholic priest <laughs> in and out of his car. <laughs> so he did not come and yell at us or anything. And today our friend Carlos Carrera, he brought some people over and they wrangled the thing and got it on a trailer. And now it's gone to trampoline, the trampoline graveyard, also called the dump. If somebody tells me that I need to give the dog attention, I'm going to ban them. Robin, you've been warned. Do I look like I have attention to give? I cannot give a dog attention. I have just gotten two children to bed. I have talked to one other child. I have another child that won't talk to me. I said to him, why don't, let's talk this week. And do you know what he said back? He's 15. School's about to wrap up. Let's just plan on it then. You know when he's getting out of school? June 1st. It's May 1st. So my 15-year-old's just not going to talk because he's real busy. Mm -hmm. Can someone please type in that the volume is their problem and it's not because of me? Why do people tell me there's no volume? Do they notice that no one else is saying it? Please say to them, if you have a volume problem, it's all you. My patience um, is, it's low. Call the trampoline doctor. What? No. The trampoline came from Kmart. Kmart doesn't even exist anymore. Time to cut the phone off. Cut off his money. My 15-year-old? But then, do I even, like, need to talk to him that much? Like, is that bad to have him not talk to me? I don't even know. At this point, I'm tired. Like, it's sort of nice. And all, it's big stuff. Like, we're talking about college. And, ugh, it's exhausting. So my oldest son wants to go to the Air Force Academy. And I would just like to say the application for the Air Force Academy is basically like saying, hello, Adrian, would you like to get a PhD in micro molecular physics biology, cord blood transplant, cold fusion? <coughs> and I know you're going to say to me, let him do the application. I get this. I'm not Miss Micromanage Mother does the applications. But I'm at least like want to be knowledgeable about what's happening, right? It is the most complicated, convoluted mess I've ever seen in my life. Ever. And I'm just trying to like help him. He's in school. Like say, hey, when are you going to do your physical exam? Or when are you going to? apply for your nominations or get your 1,432 recommendations. So today I said, how much do you want to go to the Air Force Academy? And he said, um, I said, is it like 190%? Is it, is it 50%? Is it, he said, I think it's about 80%. I said, okay, 80%. That's a lot, 80%. Um, 
And he said, but you know, I need to go see it. How much are plane tickets? Well, now this is not something he can do. He, what, he's not going to buy his plane, his plane tickets. You, your mood would be better if you didn't talk to these people. Well, Kim, I need these people. Stick to your subscribers. Do you know how many subscribers I left from going to speak at a caregiver's retreat? And I donated my time. Not to, like, give myself a pat on the back. I lost 75 freaking subscribers. Because I wasn't, like, pretty woman at people's beck and call all weekend. 75 subscribers just, they didn't get their $5 worth which I would just like to add is like a dollar quarter a week. So for three days, and I did video, but I wasn't like, that would have been 38 cents a day. They felt like they were cheated. So they just <laughs> cut me off. Cut me off. 75 people just kaput. It's a sickness. It's a horrible, horrible sickness. It's $5 a month. You know what I realized today? I realized that $5 is less than a small tea from Starbucks. Oh, Denise, what does Denise have to say? Maybe if we were all worth between five and $10 million, we would give the teacher $1,000. You are so rude to people who comment on your page. The trampoline doctor was obviously a joke. If you are tired or drained, don't do a video because it comes through with your tone. Denise, I don't, and I'm not saying this in like a mean way, but Denise, if you don't like me, why watch? I knew the trampoline doctor was a joke. I mean, I know jokes. Hardy, har, har, har. Harzy. I know jokes. I have on a coonskin cap and a Christmas necklace. I'm funny. I get it. I know people don't have a thousand dollars. Everybody doesn't have a thousand dollars to give a teacher. But I know right many people that do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, every time I see somebody walking around with a Louis Vuitton pocketbook. I know they have $1,000 to give a teacher. Darn it. So there. So that's why I do these videos, because i got to get back my subscribers. No, 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 we're not using this bad language, Andrea. The subscribers do get a little foul. Now I'm going to have to... Not kind. We're raising them kind, Andrea. Raising them kind. You people have got to settle yourself down. You cannot argue every time somebody says something negative. I can handle myself. I am wonderful. <clears throat> people are too needy. I do live. You thought I was accessible at the retreat. Well, yes. But, um... I don't even know what I'm talking about. $5 a day for coffee. The last time I pointed out that $5 a month was cheaper than going to McDonald's, somebody sent me a message and said, you think everybody on the internet is fat and eats at McDonald's? I was like, no, I don't. I just think that I eat at McDonald's. <laughs> I mean, I really do. And McDonald's in Edenton is giving us 75 sausage biscuits for Thursday morning and cups to use for our water stations. Now, isn't that the nicest thing ever? I just think that is wonderful. And our Taco Bell always gives nice things. I mean, we I live in a nice town. Yeah, darn it. Very nice. People charge $25 a month. If I charge $25 a month, I think people would expect, not like normal people, but very, very 
sick, perverted people would like expect me to have like an OnlyFans page. People that like look up P-O-R-N that's like chubby old moms. <laughs> and only, I kind of want to start an OnlyFans page. How much do you make if you do one of those? And do you have to do anything on it? Do you think it would hurt my chance if I ever wanted to run for Senate? <laughs> or would it help me? It might. I mean, if Madison Cawthorn and George Santos can win, I should be able to win. But then it's almost like you have to lie to get in. And then they don't ever get rid of you if you lie. You can do whatever you want. I mean, George Santos said that he was Jewish. I mean, that's sort of brilliant. And he said that he like graduated from college and that his mother died in the in 9-11. I mean, he just made up a ton of shiat. And now he's like, you know, on some committees. I'll be darned. I cannot imagine the videos that people would pull up if I started running for something. I have a feeling those bathtub ones would come up. Sell pictures of your toes. Ew, that grosses me out even more. Do people buy pictures of people's toes? Yeah, it seems like filthy toes. You can set your own prices on OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm not doing it. My children would probably find out or I'd be blackballed from something. I can't run for office. Do you know why I can't run for office? Because I can't even go out of town, town to do one speech and come back. I'm exhausted. Like, I want to go see the um, Morgan Wallen, the country music singer, is coming. And the next day, we're going to the water park. And I'm like, well, now I can't go to Morgan Wallen. There's no way I can do two activities like that back to back. And these people that run for office, I mean, they have got to be somewhere every day. I couldn't do it. I used to, th I don't know if it's because I'm old or had an autoimmune disorder or I belong to somebody with autism, but my ass is toast. I am turd. Turd, T-I-R-E-D. And if anybody says, you know, I just don't know why you do this. Why do you get in the bathtub? And why do you do this and that and the other? You know, it's just tacky. Well, what else am I supposed to be doing? I mean, just sitting around here thinking about how good I look. Your talk at Kate's was supposed to be for subscribers only, but it was open to everyone. It was not, and on lap, it was only for subscribers. And you know how I know that? Because it was not shared. And it was only seen by 5,000 people, which is how many subscribers I have, and several of them watched it twice. <coughs> so don't think you got jipped, because you didn't. No, sir. Ray, Bobby. You've started Zoloft. Ooh, Eileen, you're real smart. You need to come be a subscriber. I'm alone with my 30-year-old special needs daughter. Um, yes, I would highly recommend some Zoloft, considering that existence. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think I need to take more Zoloft now that it's um, may mm -hmm. Autoimmune and hormones. Contribute to fatigue. Oh, God, now people are going to start telling me to take BK or B12 or BK. Isn't that? Oh, no, BTK. That's the killer. Ooh, but look what I did stop and get today. This is a wonderful thing called an called it Anne's Donuts. An Anne's Donut is a large, has a very large hole. Mm. 
That's real good. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Jen Dunn. It was nice to meet you. You know I'm on that weight loss medicine. <laughs> but I ran out. <laughs> and I called today to order it. But it's not coming in until tomorrow. Both of I'm eating the donuts. I don't think it's coming back. Mm -mm. Somebody needs to go to the grocery. Somebody who shall remain nameless needs to go to the... What? Why? Well, honey, I think the Band-Aids are in my, in my bathroom. What? Well, I don't, I don't see any Band-Aids. Oh, hold on. Okay, here's some, here's some. Here, I'll throw them up. Now I want a donut. I know. Donuts after seven? I had a barbecue sandwich from Smithfield, and then I had a donut. Oh. They're out here on the dresser. There's blood in here. It looks like something was killed. All from shaving her legs. Oh my God, that's insane. I can't take it. There's like a blood pool. What? What were you shaving? Good golly, Molly. You're not going out there. You're not going out. You have been out, and you're definitely not going out there. Why do you have on that hat? For no reason. I just felt like wearing it. So I'm tired. And I'm old. And it's Monday. And it's May. Where's Big Thomas? He's playing tennis. That's what people do around here. Some people exercise. And some people eat donuts. Okay, subscribers. Subscribers, I'll see you in the morning. We're going to have a coffee chat at 8.15. Okay? Coffee chat, 8.15. What weight loss medicine do you get? Well, clearly, I don't have it. Well, Gobi, carry on, my peoples. Carry on. Ooh, and this weekend is the Kentucky Derby and the, um, isn't, isn't it the coronation? Oh, I'm going to have to wear my fascinator for that and have a big subscriber party on Saturday. Carry on.